Alright, my name is Conrad Braun and I want to thank you first of all for purchasing Paint Automatic. Uh, what I want to do right now is just show you how you can uh, install this WordPress plugin. Uh, I have a feeling if you're watching this you already installed it but just in case I'm going to walk you, quickly walk you through it just to show you exactly how you install it, just how simple it is. It works just like any other WordPress plugin so it should not be all that complicated. So first thing we'll do We'll log into a blog, which I've done here, and then we'll go under plugins, and then we'll click on add new plugin, and then we'll click on upload, and we'll select the file which I downloaded onto my desktop. As you can see, I downloaded onto my desktop, so just find where you downloaded it to, select it, click open. As you can see it's right there and then you just click install and there we go it's been installed successfully and what we'll do right now is just click activate plugin and it should be activated it says it right there plugin activated okay so as you can see it's right here and it's active you can deactivate it or whatever you want to do with it but if you come down to the left uh, sidebar here you'll see the plugin again possible that it's slip together like that but you can just open it up and then this is where you'll be watching this very video I'll be posting it right here but then uh, if you click add campaign this is where you would come in to create a new campaign so first of all for the new first one here you just select a random name this is just for your record keepsake so you know what this campaign is all about so let's just label it number one can be anything right and here we want to put um, it, it is important, I should maybe note this, that uh, each campaign should be centered and focused around one niche. So let's say your site is about dog training it, and you have another site about how to make money online. You, you should create separate campaigns for it, but you, you should never run them both within uh, the same campaign because it randomly picks the keywords and then later on as you will see it randomly picks the URLs that matches it with the keywords randomly. See, it's all randomized. So it's important that each keyword is relevant for each of the links that you enter for each campaign. And as I will show you later, you can enter, uh, you can create more campaigns with each installation, but uh, for this demonstration purpose, what we'll do right now is we'll just enter one set of keywords. I'll just quickly pause the video, I'll enter some random keywords here, okay? So what I've done here, I created uh, I, I just entered three different keywords here and as you can see right here um, you can also spin each keyword phrase so it's important that you enter one keyword per line but let's say this example right here so it would randomly select either make money fast or make money quick okay so it randomly selects but it's important that you follow the format that I lay out here on the side okay always just follow the instructions if you're unsure okay so let's move on to the pinging preferences now the question here is, do you have a list of uh, links that you want to ping or do you want to ping the page that the visitor lands on? If that is the case, you just select self pinging and what it will do when a visitor lands on a page, it will ping that very page. And again, it's important to note that it will only ping once per IP address, once every 24 hours. So it will never spam the search engines with too much pinging or anything like that. So. Uh, it's 100% safe in that regard, okay? I just wanted to make a note of that. If you'd rather ping a list of links that you might have, you'd click custom pinging and then a box will open up here and I'll just quickly uh, open up just a list of links here myself. Select all. What I'll do, I'll just copy it. And I'll paste it in here. It's just that easy. You can enter a whole bunch of links in there like that, okay? And uh, like I said earlier, it will randomly, when it creates an RSS feed that it pings, it will randomly ping one of these links matched with one of these keywords. So it will randomly pick from either box. So it's important that all of these keywords match all of these links and then vice versa. Okay. Let's move on to RSS URL. Generally, what I would do here, um, enter any URL that you want, for example, 
your blog RSSV, you can just enter that in here. Or you can literally take any RSS feed that you want and it will ping it along when one of these other links here gets pinged. Generally what I do, I just, like I said, I just paste an RSS feed from my blog in here. Just to give you an idea, what I'll do, I'll just go to my blog right here. I'll just click on the RSS feed button. I have mine with feed burner. Highly recommend it. It's not a must though. So I just copy that. Let's go back to the campaign. Enter the RSS feed, and it will randomly. Uh, it'll always ping it when it pings one of these here. Okay, it's a good way to draw a lot of uh, attention to your RSS feed. You know, every time you make a new blog post, the search engines will be all over it. Uh, but again, it can be any blog feed, any RSS feed that you that you desire. Now here, what we have here is. Um, a backlink finder. Uh, one question that used to come up always is, yeah, I do have a lot of backlinks, but I, how can I find them? You know, I want to ping backlinks that are already indexed in the search engines, and I want to uh, enter them into the campaign. How can I find them? And what I had my programmer do is I had him create this little add-on right here. So basically, if this is the route that you want to go, I would recommend that you do this first. That you first find the backlinks in that you have of your site in the search engines. Again, that list will not be very thorough, it will, will not have all your backlinks, but it'll usually grab you know, the first few hundred from Google and the first few hundred from, from Yahoo. So, But uh, I highly recommend that you use other tools that are more thorough than this one here. One thing I should note though, if you do decide to use it here, it will refresh this entire page which means you will lose everything that you've done up to this point okay so what I'll do I'll just skip this here it's not important I already have my links right here so I will just leave it okay and then here are IP addresses that I can ignore uh, if you have certain IP addresses that you do not want to cause a ping from uh, you can just enter those IP addresses here um, if you're not sure what that means or anything like that just leave it blank. Don't even worry about it. It's 100% optional, as I mentioned right there. Uh, I'm not. I never bother with it. I never touch it. But I just wanted to put it in place, you know, just in case, right? And referring sites, you can do the same thing. Let's say you want to make sure that if a visitor comes to your site through Google, that it does not cause the visitor does not cause your site to get pinged. You can simply enter Google.com or whatever referring URL you want to block the ping cause from. So basically if somebody comes to your site from Google and you do not want the script to ping for every visitor that comes from Google just enter the Google domain name in there and you can enter any domain in there that you want but again for as far as I'm concerned I never touch it I never bother with it so I just leave it as it is. Okay so that's it. Uh, was that easy? To set up a campaign. I talked a lot. I hope I didn't bore you to death. But um, it, it really is very straightforward. Uh, most of these boxes are optional except these top here. Uh, campaign name, keywords, uh, your preferences, and then of course your backlinks and, and the RSS feed which is optional too here. So just like that. And there we go. We created our campaign successfully created and that was it it automatically will start pinging these this new campaign through uh, every every visitor that lands on this blog okay now let's click on manage campaigns as you can see right here it gives us some information the RSS feed that I entered just things like that uh, we can edit it it's very straightforward. Let's go back there. We can delete it, which I don't recommend. You can pause it. You can uh, reset stats, uh, or you can just look at the stats. But again, it's, it just created it, so there's no stats there to be found yet. And here's the other cool thing: it gives you in RSS feed uh, that you can use, and you can submit it to RSS directories, Pingler, whatever, 
I, I will show you some some cool sites for that right here just this little box right here um, I, I give you a little more information where you can have the RSS feed that it created for you again it's not mandatory I, it's just something I would do what basically what it did it created an RSS feed out of every link I'll just show you here so every keyword every link it mushed it all together and it, it created an RS, RSS feed out of it and this is the RSS feed right here but yeah, it really is all that straightforward. Um, I personally would not worry about anything beyond this. It runs by itself. Uh, you can check the RSS setting here. Pretty much what this is, it is the random text that is used within the RSS feed. So what I've done, I open it up in Mozilla and it, it, it just shows you a little better what the RSS feed actually looks like. So here, for example, um, it links to one of the backlinks that I put in to the campaign as you will remember and like I was just telling you earlier here this description is a combination of the keywords as you can see it randomly gets inserted but then uh, uh, the rest of it is made up of of the descriptions that we have here under RSS settings so as you can see here basically just follow the instructions right on the screen here if you want to edit anything personally I wouldn't touch it I put some effort into it and tried to set it all up so that everything looks right for any keyword, any key phrase. So, but you're you're welcome to touch it, uh, to mess with it uh, as you see fit. But uh, again, I would not bother with it. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this. I will come up with a PDF just to explain everything in a little more detail if you'd like to prefer following that way. Uh, aside from that, it's it's very 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 straightforward, and don't be afraid to test things out yourself if you're unsure. It, it, it is it's very straightforward, very simple plugin, but again, very very effective in getting your backlinks indexed and just having the search engines go crazy about your site. You know, just continuously visiting your site and, and giving you a lot of credit through your backlinks uh, when you use this plugin. So. Thank you very much again for being a loyal customer, for purchasing it, and uh, I'm looking forward to a long-term relationship with you. Thanks again. Bye-bye.